Hi, my name is Steve Cordero. I'm from Acrobat Enterprise Support. Welcome to IT Tips and Tricks. One step chain installers for Adobe Acrobat 10 on Mac OS 10. A few things you'll need to create a one step chain installer on Mac OS 10 are Apple Xcode, specifically the auxiliary tools for Xcode with Package Maker, a post install shell script from the Enterprise Administration Guide a text editor that is compliant with Unix line breaks and UTF-8 encoding. For this demonstration, I will be using BD Edit, but you can use another editor of your choice. You'll also need the install media, the updater media, and the Adobe provisioning tool for Macintosh. You'll also need the Enterprise Administration Guide, which is located at http colon forward slash forward slash kb2.adobe.com forward slash cps forward slash 837 forward slash cps id underscore 83709 dot html the core instructions for this video were taken from the enterprise administration guide let's discuss the post install shell script in an overview what does the post install shell script actually do it does one unzip the Acrobat and updater package files. Two, it runs or installs the Acrobat package file followed by the updates in order. And three, the script then calls the provisioning tool to do three things. A, serialize Acrobat. B, suppress the EULA, which is the end user license agreement. And C, suppress the registration screen, including the adobe.com sign up. And finally, the script ends itself. Now, Let's take a look at a demo script that we have so you can see exactly what's going on. Okay, so the first thing that it's doing is setting the function unzip package and true to form, that's exactly what it does. It will take the installer that we have, which is a zipped package, and then decompress it to the private temp directory. Next, it'll take the updater package, which again is zipped, and decompress it into the private temp directory. The next thing it'll do is run the function install acrobat. And here's what it does. At the command line or at the terminal, it runs the installer and it sets the target to the default, which is the applications folder. It removes the package and then writes out whether or not the install was successful or not. Then it moves on to the next function, which is install Acrobat 10.1.3. Again, it runs the installer for the package to the default location. And again, it writes out to whether or not that installation was successful or not. The next step is the serialization. Serialize Acrobat. For this piece, it's going to be using the Adobe provisioning tool. And here's the command for it. It runs the provisioning tool with the dash cap C and the dash small a to the location for AMT, the command for serializing, and then the serial number. I've placed exits here for the serial number but as soon as it's done, it writes out to whether or not the serialization was successful or not. The next section is for suppress Acrobat EULA, the end user license agreement. Again, it runs the Adobe provisioning tool, sets the commands, cap S, small a, and then again writes to EMT. It sets whether or not 
the yield was suppressed or whether the suppression failed. The next function is suppress Adobe ID dialog. And again, it uses the Adobe provisioning tool, sets the commands, cap bar, small a, and again, writes DMT. Sets whether or not the suppression was successful or whether it failed. And as the end of the script, it names all the functions that we've just used. And that's the demo script. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to create a installer, but first we need to do the prep for the install work. The prep for the install work involves copying out the packages from the images that we have. So what we need to do is mount the drives. And this is the media for Adobe Acrobat 10 Pro. And we need to copy the package out to the desktop. And then we can close that up. Then we do the same with the updater. And this will be significantly shorter time to copy out. Close that up. And then we need the provisioning tool. Close that up. And finally, we need the post install shell script. Our next step will be to zip the packages. And we can start that right now. Right mouse click and compress. and we can actually do both at the same time. So let's do that. While there's no compressing, we don't really need to compress either the Adobe provisioning tool or the post install shell script, only the installers. And there. We have the zipped installers. Okay, the next step is to actually build the all-in-one installer. First thing we need to do is launch the package maker. Let's go to applications. And I've already loaded the auxiliary tools for Xcode, so it's right there. Let's launch that. And you need to have a name, and you start it off with com, dot, and then we're just going to use this that I've used in the past, and it's demonstration company. And you need to make sure the minimum target is set to Mac OS 10 version 10.5 Leopard, because that is the system requirement for Adobe Acrobat 10 Pro. Say OK. And then go to the configuration tab. You're going to want to give this a title. And then we begin. First thing you're going to want to do is add the Acrobat 10 Pro zipped installer package. Go to the configuration tab, type private TMP as a location. You're going to want to do the same thing for the 10.1.3 update. And again, it's private. TMP. Next item you're going to want to add is the provisioning tool. And again, 
the destination needs to be private DMP. I want to go to the components tab, uncheck allow relocation, and then you're going to want to add the post install shell script. Again, goes in private TMP. Click on the scripts tab and go to the post install field. You're going to want to click uh, gear there and click choose. Go to the post install shell script that you're using. Select choose. It's set up there. And then you're going to want to build this item. So let's do that. And we're going to keep it the same name. Save. And the build succeeded. So let's close this. And yes, we do want to save this. Let's give it a better name. Save that. And we need to quit Package Maker here. And the next test is to see how the installer does. Let's do that. As you can see, this is the standard installer on Mac OS X. We're not going to change the location, we're just going to keep it as the default. And as normally happens, it asks for the administrative password. And install software. Installation was successful. Let's close that. And the final test is check. Okay, there's the Acrobat 10 Pro folder. There is Adobe Acrobat 10 Pro and Acrobat Distiller and the uninstaller. And here's the real test. And it looks like we have Acrobat installed. We did not get prompted for the end user license agreement. And since the application did launch, that means we are serialized and let's check the version. And the version is indeed 10.1.3. And I believe that's a successful installation. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.